I see Lady going out in the town. Like, ta -da. Ta -da. Hi, YouTube fam. Welcome to my channel. Hi YouTube fam, welcome to my channel. If this is your first time tuning in, thank you so much, I really appreciate it. So my channel is about fashion, travel, and lifestyle. That's all my channel is about, and if you like it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below. And let's get started. So today I'm gonna do a try on haul for you all. I'm gonna try on a few pieces that I got at uh, the 260 sample sale. Now if you haven't heard of that before, I also haven't heard of it. My friend kind of put me on it. She sent me her Instagram link and everything and put me on it and I'm obsessed honestly. So the 260 sample sale, they just have different locations. I think they have Miami, LA, and York. And of course I'm in New York so that's how I'm going to go and do a little bit of shopping there. But it's a company that basically puts the designer pieces on sale. So I went to two sample sales so far. I went to Lamarck. I don't know if you all have heard of them. But I, I didn't I haven't heard of them before the 260 sample sale. And then I did some research and they have really cute pieces on uh, really nice materials. So when I went I got a few um, a couple of jackets and then I also went to the J Lux label sample sale and got a few cute pieces there. It was a really good deal. Um, they were doing $45 or less on everything. So they had jackets, they had shirts, tops, dresses, and really nice dresses. They were doing pants and just everything, shoes, jewelry. So they have different prices for each point. So I think the jackets were $45 to begin with. And then going down, it was $25 for top. So they had these different price points, but everything was $45 plus. And I think it was a couple of later, a couple of days after. So I forgot to mention that when they do these sample sales, it's just for a limited amount of days. So the J Lux one started last Tuesday and um, it's actually ending today, Sunday. So they only did it for that uh, limited amount of time. And you have to go in person in the store to, to get to get it. They don't do it online. Although some of the uh, sales they do online, so you gotta go on their website and see what they're doing online. But for the most part, it's in person and they have select um, location spots where you can go to. So the one that is J Lux was in 261 Fifth Ave in New York. So I ended up going there. So like I was mentioning earlier, the first couple of days it was $45 or less, everything was $45 or less at the location spot. And then I think two days later, they brought the prices down and it was $25 or less. And that's when I ended up going. So I got a lot of cute pieces. And this sweater is one of them. So this is Jay Lux's sweater that I'm wearing right now. This is one of their really nice pieces that I saw. And this was $10. Ten dollars. If you are like me, you love a deal and you love to get things for a nice price, and it's just a really good quality. And I love this color. I think this is like my favorite color, honestly. But yeah, and it's just really comfy and it's a nice, cute crop top. And it actually has some sh shoulder pads. Like if you guys see, I think the only issue is the shoulder pads kind of move around, um, but. It's no biggie. I think you can also remove the shoulder pads if you're not into the shoulder pad look, but I love the shoulder pad look, so I think I'm gonna keep it. I'll see, because it really does move around a lot. Um, but yeah, other than that, it's really nice material, um, and I really love it. So I'm gonna show you all, all of the stuff that I bought. So excited. The first um, item that I'm gonna show you all is from Lamarck. So I got, let me count one, two, three. I got three items from the market and there are three coats. So the coats were $80 a piece. Um, yeah, the market, they were on the sale for $80 a piece. So I got this jacket for $80 and it's in a size small. I'm just gonna grab my phone to show you all because, you know, I love a deal. So I immediately went on their website to see how much the jackets were originally to see if this is really a good deal or not and surprisingly I was like wow this is a really good deal 
It's called the Sharon. It's the mixed media puffer jacket. And um, yeah, it's this is a light gray. I thought it was beige, but online it's so a light gray color. And guess how much they're selling it on their website? Just guess. What it, what did you all say? What is it? Four hundred and seventy-five dollars. Yeah. I was shocked. I was like, really? Like, I got this for eighty, and it's on sell on selling online for four seventy-five dollars. Like, I can post it and show you all. Um, but yeah, it's this mixed media puffer jacket. Let me try not to show you. I really like this because it's unique. Um, it has this cool oversized look to it, and it's actually really. Uh, comfy and warm, keeps you warm. It has this kind of like crop feel to it. I don't know, I just really like because I don't have anything like this in my closet and I really like the color. Like, I love neutral colors, I can feel with anything. So, I was like, this is well, such a cute piece. Um, but yeah, it's like a mix of fur and uh, I don't know what these <laughs> this material is called, but it really does keep me warm. Um, yeah, and there's no zipper on this, it's just buttons. So, um, the buttons are right here. There's two buttons, and just button the front like this. Oh. Yeah, it's that easy. I just really love when the this is like an oversized look to it. It just feels very, um, I don't know why it feels like European, like high-end fashion. Um, and I don't really know much about this brand. If you do, leave a comment and let me know what your thoughts on this brand, if you have any pieces from them, or even if this is something that you really like and you should wear, make sure to leave a comment and let me know. Um, yeah, I don't really know much about this brand. I don't know where they're from or but I just get, at least for this piece, kind of a European high-end vibe to it. Yeah. This jacket I have is, um, this jacket is also, I guess this is more of a beige color. Um, this is from the Mark. It's a size small. This is faux fur. It's a faux fur jacket. Um, yeah, I really like it because it's really comfy and I've been wanting kind of a more comfy full fur jacket like this that's long and very luxurious. Um, um, let me try this on for you all so you can see. And this was, like I mentioned earlier, all the Lamar jackets were $80, so this was $80. Um, I can check online. I didn't see this exact one online. But their jackets online run from like four, five, six, seven hundred dollars. Um, but let me find it. Let's see. Okay, I found this online. Oh my gosh, this girl is so good. <laughs> I gotta show you all. Look at her. Oh, I don't know if you can see, but she looks so bomb. The way she styled this. I'm gonna show you all how I style this too. Um, but yeah, so this online, this is a Linea Faux Fur Coat. Online it's $275. And they have a whole bunch of color online. When I went to the sample sale, I only saw this color and the blue color, which I'm gonna show you in a little bit. And so I got both. I was really debating between the two. I was like, oh, do I need two of the same coat but in two different colors? And at the end I convinced myself, yes. If you're like me and you always convince yourself when you're shopping, like, yeah, I need this, yeah, I need that. Leave a comment, because I think we all need to start kind of a group together so we can all support each other when we go through these through these tough times of decision-making shopping. But yeah, so this jacket is called Linnea, I think. It's a faux fur coat on $275 on mine. Um, yeah, I really like it. It's really soft, keeps me warm, and I've been really like this, I don't have like a full fur coat in my closet, or just fur coat in general in my closet. 
and I've been wanting stuff like this, so I jumped right on it. I saw it was beauty dollars because I'm really, it's like, it feels good, good quality, but I don't think it would be that much. So, yeah, I'm really excited about this, and I'm gonna show you all how I would style it on later. Yeah. So, like I just mentioned, I bought the blue in it. So this is the blue coat. I was just like, I need a little pop of color. Why not just get this? <laughs> so I like convinced myself. I was asking everyone. I went to the um, sample sale by myself and I was asking everyone, like, what color do you think I should get? Because, and everyone said this color. I think it's because I got the the first coat that I show you all, that all the like gray. It's supposed to be like gray, but it looks a lot like on um, the beige coat that I sent you, so I showed you. So everyone was like, well, you're already getting a coat similar to that color, like the beige, like gray color. Well, I had a pop with blue and I was like, you guys are so right, but I also work with beige. <laughs> so I was like, I'm getting both. Um, and yeah, so I got this blue and it's just, oh, it's the, like, yeah, it's so happy, it's super cute. I haven't worn this yet, <laughs> but I mean, I did get it like a couple of weeks ago, like a week or two weeks ago. Um, but, yeah, I haven't worn it yet, but I'll show you all how I would wear it if I were to wear it. It's how I would style it, so I'll show you all. So now it's the JLUX label on sample sale that I was saying that I went to. I got two jackets there and this sweater, and I also bought this candle that was $10. And it smells so good. I'm going to give it to someone, um, but it smells really super like, amazing. Yeah, I only got two jackets and this sweater the candle there. I kind of went a little late. The sample sale, st sample sale started Tuesday. I ended up going Thursday. So I was a couple of days late, but they still had like a lot of cute stuff. Um, but yeah, I only left with these coats and the sweater and the candle. But uh, they had um, a lot of these jackets in different colors. They had a lavender and then a black out of stock of like a small and a black had a brown I think right and then like a white whitish creamish I'll say like a creamish actually I don't know if they have the brown don't quote me on that but they this color which like I mentioned is like my favorite color this a cream and then a lavender and I I am trying on a cream it didn't really look that good on me and then um I tried on the lavender the, actually no, I didn't try on the lavender, but I was not really feeling lavender and then I tried this on and I was like, oh this is it. Um, yeah, it's just a regular coat, so when I got there everything was $25 or less, so this was $25 and I was like, this is a steal. Like, who gets these jackets for $25? It's like such good quality and like, just fits so nice and it just feels, it just looks high end and J Lux label is like a really great brand. I love them so much. I'll show you all how I would style this too and what it looks like on. And then finally, for the final jacket, I got this one from J Lux label. This is a size small. It's like an army green coat and it's, um, yeah, it's just super nice, super good material. And this was also $25 on the sample sale. I'm not sure how much it originally is. If you know, leave a comment. If you have anything JLX label and you love them as much as I do, leave a comment. Now I'm going to show you how I would style this JLX reddish jacket that I bought. Um, I changed to this top. It's from Blue. It's just a nice, um, like a spandex material top. I bought this a while back, so I don't know if they're still in stock. I'll try to find it for you or something similar, but. Um, Boo has some really cute, timeless, I guess, not timeless, but I would say essential pieces that I, I love and has been in my closet for so long, and this is one of them. And then this jean um, is the Topshop jean that I had on. And then these boots are Aram. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm saying it right, but it's a French, um, a French label, a French bank. It's a French brand. I bought it while I was studying abroad in France a while back, um, and they're, su they're super comfortable. I literally could walk forever in these. I remember I would, when I went to London, I wore these and walked around all over London. And they're really super comfortable and super cute. 
So yeah, I would just do kind of an all black look. I know it's giving very New York. Um, I swear I love colors, but you know, New York it is. But I feel like this is such a staple. It's such a staple piece of the look that I would just make the rest of the look on um, just black, I guess. And that doesn't mean you can't dress it up yourself and I don't know, do a really standout bow with it. But I think for me, that's just, I just feel like this is just such a staple piece of its own that everything else needs to be kind of muted a little. Um, but yeah, this is a jacket that it looks like on. Um, I've seen some people just leave it like this and just take out this and just wear it like this. You let me know which style you like better if you like it open like this or closed up. This is what it looks like open. So this is what it looks like all buttoned up and on the belt tied like this. I just feel like it's very high end. I know I've been saying that word so much, but it just gives just a high end, like a classy lady going out in the town. Like, <laughs> that's what I'm getting with this. It's just super cute. I could see me wearing it for so many occasions um, in New York, going out to parties, going out to dinner. Like, I could just see this being a really cute um, standout piece. I want to just dress it up, you know. You can also dress it down if you want. You could just wear like flats or something, but yeah, I just think it's super cute. Like I said, they had a bunch of different colors. Um, I don't know if they saw this online. They had the lavender and the cream, but this color just seemed more stand out for me, especially with my skin tone. So now I'm going to try on the Army Green J Lux jacket for you all so you can see what it looks like on. And yeah, I guess I would just style this also like this um, with just the all black look. You can also dress it down and wear sneakers with it or dress a nice black dress with it. Really, it's just a really nice jacket to throw on. And I really like the feel of it. The texture is really nice. You can tell it's a really good material. It's something that's gonna last for a while. And it just kind of elevates a look. It also has shoulder pads. <laughs> um, I feel like J Lux loves their shoulder pads. So it also has shoulder pads, but I, I really like the shoulder pads with this. It gives it this classy, upscale, boss woman boss woman look that I really like about it. Um, yeah, you really could just dress this any, anyhow, honestly. I just left the all black look on him um, so you can actually really see what the coat looks like without any extra other stuff in there. But this is really what it looks like and it has this button. You can button it up and tie it if you want to. Or don't button it. I'm not buttoning it now, but you can button it and tie it to a little bow if you're into that. Um, or just keep it like this. You really could play with it and do whatever. You kind of wear it off the shoulder, you know, that off the shoulder look you could do with it. jacket from Lamar and um, this is also how we style it. I have this leather pants. I think this is from, yeah, this is from Zara. These leather pants are from Zara. Um, I just feel like the leather, the fur, they make it look super cute and this is what the jacket looks like on. So the pop of blue is just really nice and we like it. It's sleek, it's super dressy. Um, you can also dress this down. Sneakers, just some um, 
cargo pants or something like that or you could do a turtleneck like you really could just dress this however you want but i just don't prefer the leather pants just to show a little bit of a fancy kind of look to it but yeah this is what it looks like on and there's um one actually no there's two buttons so you can button it up if you want this or you can wear it not button like this i feel like i would lean more towards leaving it more open like this but it's whatever you prefer yeah and this is what the blue jacket looks on let me know what you think about this if you really like it To show you all how I would style this jacket, the beige the mark jacket. Um, let me put this down and then show you the actual outfit first. So I got this um, bright green top from TJ Maxx. I love TJ Maxx. They have a bunch of cute outfits. I might do a video for you all to show you how I find cute pieces there because I really can find really nice pieces there and it's really affordable, great price and great materials and everything. So I got this top from there. And then the skirt I got from Zara on a, at the end of the year sale. I haven't worn this because I haven't really found a top to wear with it. But then I got this top a couple of days ago and I was like, wait a minute, this is like really cute, a cute pairing together. It's just a nice pop of color if you want to go out skirt to go with it and then of course my Aram boots if you wear any boots with it um, you could do heels with it anything you really want uh, just a dressy outfit so yeah it's that easy you can just put stuff together so um, I really want to do a video for you all to show you how I find cute pieces of TJ Maxx because I find a lot of cute pieces and I'm really affordable. I feel like people are sleeping on TJ Maxx, so I, I'll do a video for you all. So this is the outfit. I'll show you what the jacket looks like on with it. And ta-da! Yeah, so this is the look. It's just nice and very dressy if you warm a nice piece put to it to just go out in the city from new york or any city that you're from let me know what you think about this outfit yeah leave a comment below and let me know what your thoughts are on these pieces and how you're liking it Is it. Those are all the pieces I got from the Mark and J Lux. I showed you how you can style them, how to make them look super cute when you're going out. Let me know if you liked any of the pieces, any of the outfits that I put together, and even let me know if you have any pieces from these brands and what your favorite items from them are. I really would love to know what you all are shopping and what you're getting into and the different outfits you like to put together. I really appreciate you all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you all so much and make sure to tune in for the next video because I have a bunch of other videos coming in with coming shopping with me and showing you all all the different brands that I love and how I like to style things and put things together. So make sure you stay tuned for all of those and I hope you all have a nice day. I'll see you later.